Hi, I'm Robbie Kane and I'm here at a TMC Hollywood Insider Workshop at the Hamptons Hotel in Dublin with the two organisers, the wonderful Annette Dominiques O'Hare, I think I got that one right, <laughs> and the stunning world-class supermodel Vanessa Nunes. Hi. Welcome to Dublin. Thank, Thank you. you. Now we have to start with you, you're kind of half Irish descent, aren't you? More than half, yes. My, my grandmother was born and raised here and I'm actually an Irish citizen. Wow. Um, I have my passport, so um, I love Ireland, I feel home here. And Vanessa, of course you're from Brazil, you're a supermodel, an entrepreneur within your, your good successful self. You've modelled, you've acted, you've done hosting. No, oh, you're too kind. You really <laughs> have done it all. For people who are not familiar with you in Ireland, what exactly have you done? I've done so much over the year. My career is pretty long. I did have a break, but at the beginning was really intense. So I did visit Dublin before, a long time ago. It was lovely. And I lived in Europe. It was a big, big agenda for me. That's how I built my career in Europe before I actually went to America and continue doing what I'm doing now. But Europe is a big, big market for modeling. So we want to bring it to America as well. Now, did I hear a rumour when you were doing catwalk modelling, you opened a show ahead of Naomi Campbell. Did you hear that too? Yes, I oh did. My goodness. I heard she was dead jealous of you now, in fairness. Is this true? She, um, <laughs> well, she had a little something to say. She wanted yeah. to open, but I always have open for years and years. It was this particular um, client, is very big in Brazil, and I used to go just to Brazil, just for her, just like Naomi. Naomi was always the last one, but that one day she wanted to open the Difficult. show and she almost got fired for that because you can't really have the attitude <laughs> in this business. So the diva Naomi that we all Love really know. Lovely, beautiful, yes. gorgeous, but she can't say anything. <laughs> she has to agree. We all have to agree and look pretty and be satisfied. Once you have that kind of attitude, it becomes a little harder. So she didn't go back. She didn't go back. Of course, when you're working with models on a daily basis and doing catwalk stuff, it's, it's a great buzz to be a model, to be representing a brand yes, like Tom correct. Ford or Gautier. But to have that kind of atmosphere, it doesn't really kind of make it good, does it? Well, because the business is so fast, isn't it? You can't really um, hesitate or protest because other models are waiting for their time mm -hmm. in front of the camera, in front of the light to shine. So if you become too difficult, it's not good for business. Yeah, so listen to me, a great advice there. Now, Annette, you're going to be speaking to up and coming actors, models, uh -huh. presenters, hosts, yes. stylists, and casting agents. What advice are you going to be giving them today? Um, a lot of advice. Um, probably the first, well, the first topic we're going to be going over is how to stand out, how to set your apart, how to set yourself apart from the rest to book the job, to get the work. Hmm. Now, it's easily said, but, but like yeah. Vanessa said with Naomi, um, setting yourself apart to get noticed and not having a bad attitude yeah. when you get the job. Um, we have a lot of actors and models in LA. So, so, some of them get ego when they get a little bit of work or a little bit of exposure. It goes to the head. <laughs> and, yeah, it goes to the head. Right. We don't allow that. that. We don't. We we talk to people in depth about the importance of attitude. We teach the business side um, what to expect on a set, mm -hmm. what a casting director's role is, a producer, so forth. So that way, um, our models and actors not only understand their job, but they understand everyone else's job. So they have a deep respect and appreciation for what everyone does okay well obviously irish people are we doing something wrong have you noticed this <laughs> without being too disrespectful to us because we all take advice on board you know, we don't want to do anything wrong we want to kind of progress our careers if we're in this industry it's a tough battle to be in this industry as it you is. both know yeah, yeah. so there is kind of niches that we, we have, have to be improved is that right well the um the we we don't we're not experts on, on mm. the irish market but mm. we're experts or very well informed on the top market in the world, which is Hollywood, Los Angeles. So we are here to share that information. The number one piece of advice with um, people in Ireland is they are going to be able to take everything that we're talking about today, but the number one thing is if they think about going to America, going to New York, Hollywood, Miami, wherever, they first have to make it here. Yes. They have to be the best here. I get so many girls from Berlin, from London, from everywhere calling me 
and I consult them and they, they say, well, I want to come to America. I want to be a fashion model. I want to be this and this and this. I just had a girl who was 27 calling me wanting to go to Hollywood to be a fashion model. And I said, well, what have you done? Where did, did you train? She didn't go anywhere. She didn't do anything. She wasn't even working in her market, which is a good market. And the first thing I said is, you have to make it there. Mm. You have to um, apply everything that I'm telling you to your market. Because if you come to LA and you're not prepared, you're competing against the best in the world. And you're going to sink, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not really yeah. about experience because yeah. these <laughs> girls are new faces, so they do not have that. It's about uh, information, it's about being ready. So even if you do not have ex much experience, if you're ready and you kind of make it here just a little bit, but you're ready, then you can come to us. Yeah. If you're not ready and you go there, it might be a very hard first visit and it might break your heart because you might right. have to come back and be ready to go back. And it, it, mm. it takes... If you don't make it in your market, how do you, or, or make it mm. to some level of degree, just to some level of a com com accomplishment, there, it's going to be very, very hard in LA. So but information yeah. will help you. Yeah. Yeah. You're trying to say basically if you want to be a model actor or a presenter, you have to do your apprenticeship first before yes. you actually sell Absolutely. yourself. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's not just being pretty and, yeah. and lovely and having a yeah. great smile. It's about yeah. earning that smile. What you're saying lovely, we see loads of people now on reality TV shows. Mm -hmm. Is this the killer blow? Is this what's making people say, I want to be famous, I want to be a star? Um, and they see these the reality market. TV shows. Isn't it kind of compared to what we trained ourselves back in the 90s or the noughties? Now it's constant reality TV shows. People yeah. see it on social media. They want to be these famous people, but they've no experience. And this is what well, they think in their head. One thing we ask them is, why do you want to be famous? Yeah, it's... Why? Yeah. Is well, it going to make you happy or is it going to make... Yeah, yeah. So, so being, being successful doesn't necessarily mean being famous or being... Mm. You know, there's a lot of famous people who are famous on reality shows or Instagram that I wouldn't want to, <laughs> you know, that, Work with. that it's not the yeah. same. it's really not the same industry. Yeah. It, it's not. There's yeah. so many different, it's two different um, ramifications of yeah. Uh, yeah. the industry. Modeling itself, it's unique. So it is about beauty. It is about earning the camera. It is about loving the lenses. Hello, lenses. <laughs> <laughs> is there a cut-off point for Nessa and an S for someone who was in the industry to say, okay, I've tried this. I didn't get where I wanted to be. That's it. Oh, hey, it. now I know. Yeah. That's the thing. Now I know I've tried it. Well, now I know I don't yeah. want to do it. But now I know all the other things that connect yeah. to the modeling that I might be good at. Yeah. There's a lot of people who who go out wanting to be an actress or a model, mm -hmm. and they go and they see it, and they they may see I want to be the host. Mm -hmm. I want to be the, the photographer, makeup the makeup yeah, artist. The makeup I want to I want to produce. Um, when I got into it, I didn't think I was going to end up being a host yeah. at some point. But, um, Me, an actor? Yeah. <laughs> no, I had or, no idea. Or yeah. being the director of a fitness agency. <clears throat> I am not the person, I have no experience being on stage with biceps. I have, I have no experience in that world. But oh, somehow I'm, I'm the director of a fit, fitness agency also, but I, um, but I run it with my 25 years of experience all made me capable to run it the way that I want to run it, which is completely different than any other fitness agency or even commercial or talent agency. We do it completely differently and now, it works. You're obviously speaking of fitness. A lot yes. of the men in America are very fit and healthy like the women. Ireland's over here for the last 10, 15 years has kind of jumped into that. It really yes. has kind of, you know, it's the main thing that you have to do to be fit and look good. Yes. It's all about your diet and, you know, your social life. It's a combination of balancing things out. Well, Is this yes. what you advise as well? And and West Westwood um, Club, yeah. Alan, has been amazing. Um, we are really excited to get to know the fitness industry more here. Um, yeah. You know, partic particularly, I don't even think I mentioned the name, Naturally Fit Agency is the agency in the States that, you know, I, I run the Cal California office. But... Um, Yes, it, it's very important to be fit and to be healthy. Yeah, the market has changed. Back in the days when I started on the 80s, it was about being very skinny. Yeah. Uh, muscles were not welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah. Breasts were not welcome. It was very different than today. Today, it is about being healthy. It is about looking healthy, looking happy, healthy. People buy product related to healthy looks. Yes. No longer skinny. Of course, fashion model, different thing. 
there are many different divisions on t into the modeling industry. Fashion models, they do have to be a bit skinnier, even though mm. these days you see a little more shape than back in the days. Yes. And yes. it's more amusing because <coughs> it relates to most of the people that will go and buy the product. Because not everybody that is there to see the runway show, to see the commercials that you're producing, they're not really relating as well if you look always super skinny. Who is that skinny in real life? And of course you're saying you sell the product. When you're an actor or a model, especially an actor, you are the product to sell. Yeah. And just because you're not on stage doesn't mean that you shouldn't be doing exercises, working out and keeping the body fit. Because That's you want to sell it. Yeah. So there's always a kind of gap in between your next job and you have to look the best at all times. So it's a psychological well, thing as well. Psychological yeah. thing. Yeah. Thank you. You just <laughs> took it out of my mind. It's exactly you, it makes you feel good and, and you know, powerful. Once you're in shape and once you feel, you also feel good when yeah. you're in shape. I'm sure you know that because you're super in shape. Well, thank you so much. You're really, you're really kind. I'm going to spoil you a drink later on. Now, I, can, I can see the queue outside of people coming today. What, are they going to be leaving on the high? Are they, I, are they I going hope to so. write notes down? Is this going to be yes. their, their new dream because of the two of you here today? I hope so. I, yeah. I hope they take a lot of notes. Well, because yeah. today they're going to understand that it's not going to be one try and that's it. No, you're going to try it when you're ready. You're not gonna, just going to knock on doors today. You're going to work on what you learned today, what you heard today. You're going to work on yourself. You're going to buy a very gigantic mirror for your house. It's your new, <laughs> new thing that we shop right now. You're going to practice, practice until you feel it. Yeah. Once you feel it, that's when you go. Before you feel it, and you're going to fill it with information because you're going to understand what to do. You're going to understand what steps to take. Right. I would never walk into an agency without being prepared. Yeah. I would never no, walk no. in because a lot of agencies, you get one chance. I it's, know in LA, you get one chance. Yes. And then if they see you and you walk and they give you an interview, which is rare, mm -hmm. because if they're taking their time to have a model or an actor come in to interview, you're about 80% there. You're almost right. signed. Because I know with my agency, I get probably three, 300 submissions a month. I don't even look at all of them because we don't have a lot of time. No. Um, but we get a lot of referrals. Mm -hmm. So if I like someone enough to bring them in, and this is the case with every agency in LA, um, I'm almost there. I'm going to sign them. But if they walk in and they're not prepared or they haven't been, if they say they want to be a commercial actor and mm -hmm. they've never had, had a class, they're wasting your time I don't, as well. They're yeah. wasting it is, the look is the yeah, first yeah, step. Yeah, yeah. However, if the looks come with that, nothing else, you won't succeed. It doesn't matter how gorgeous you are. And if they are, come into the interview it, without being, you, you know, with a little bit of makeup and a, like not o overly done, be, be, because we want to see their natural beauty, but Absolutely. we yeah. we want to see their we want to see their best when they walk walk in. Um, and I, I do meetings twice a month at my agency, which is not done. Yeah. And, and we go over the trends that are happening in the industry because you're in, in the nine nineties, we always had a five year goal. Well, it's not even a five month goal now. Yeah. It's maybe five weeks cause yeah. the industry changes so rapidly changes. now. Yes. So, um, so, um, and then you got to change it with it yeah. to keep going. Go with the flow, so go with the if, times. If yeah. it's, there's a time that even though you have to save your look because that's your mark, the way that you look, you've got to be strong about it because they're going to be marketing the way they look. You can't really change all the time mm. as much as no. that. No, when I have girls that do cut, color their hair <laughs> and I book them on a job, and they booked the be, be, because yeah. a lot of the yeah. things are direct life, books. You, just their hair. you, you can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Do it. you have to look like your portfolio, like your headshot. That's what um, I expect. expect. You have to. And if you don't, then you know you you're making the agent look bad. You're making yourself look bad. They're not going to hire you again. And me as an agent, I am not going to book somebody again who doesn't show up on set looking exactly the way That's they do. That's why the attitude. Photograph. Yeah. The attitude is no yeah, longer yeah. welcome because yeah. of time. Yeah. We don't have the time for the people with attitude. Doesn't matter how gorgeous, how it is. And of course, it's 2018. <laughs> Who is your inspiration model at this particular time? It's always going to be one girl, even though now she's kind of retiring because of her babies. Giselle. Oh, Giselle amazing. Forever yes. babe. Yeah, Those course, legs yeah. are always in my mind. Well, <laughs> you so. know, it, it's a, I, I interviewed her twice. Yeah. yeah. And so um, of course, Leonardo's ex girlfriend. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Um, when did I interview? I, I believe it was 2005, maybe 2006. Right. Um, it, it was when she was still a Victoria's Secret um, model. Mo yes. model. And she Amazing. was, <laughs> when I met her, 
the publicist brought me over to interview her, and she re re reached out and said, "I'm Giselle, hi." And I was, and, and she was so Margaret. sweet. Oh, I'm so hungry. And she was, she's, 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 she's very normal, and she was asking me like about my personal life, and she was asking me. <laughs> she was just she was so yeah, yeah, yeah. so just down talk, to yeah, earth yeah. and yeah. so sweet. Which yeah. is great when you have models and people you work with that's like that. They're not trying to outdo you and they're just real people. Yeah. And that's what it's all about, being oh, real. But that is why you have yeah. a future. Because yeah. you're going alone that's with why everybody. They book you. You're not yeah. trying to put people behind you. It, we are a team and it's a team that is growing. And that is why we're here. Because it's yeah. growing in and, our market as well. And our philosophy and why we connected with Sharon Hennessy as well yes. is we, our foundation of doing everything is helping others. Which, which is not really, doesn't, it should go hand in hand with the industry, but it doesn't always, because a lot of times people are in it for what they can get. But um, the way I've always worked is, is helping people who are perceived as my competition, or help, it, it just came out of a genuine yeah. sincerity, and no, I've never been jealous. I, when I- they won't come back to us, because even though we, we still do the modeling, we also um, help them by- like the mommies. With the agency yeah, and yeah, the mommies. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, because they will come back to us, it's hard for us yeah. to say no. We want to say yes, but if they're not ready, she will say very honest, no. and that's the foundation as well, helping others and honesty. Yeah. So, um, what, when I've seen people who were amazing hosts or beautiful women or very, very successful in their field, um, I want to get to know them and I want to see what I can learn from them. So, um, but, but there's a lot of people in the industry who see somebody with some success in another area or in the area that they want to be, be in and they don't want to talk to them or see them. Maybe they're intimidated or scared, but Never Fair. experienced that. Like, like I've always is, wanted to learn. There is room for all of us. Yeah. yeah. For all of us, as long as we play along with the evolution. Yeah. If you get stubborn with your whatever you Do. are going yeah. through, yeah. and you don't sink into the industry, it's going to be harder. Mm. And it doesn't have to be. Mm. It can be easy. So it's going to be great advice for people today that's going to come yes. to the Hollywood Insiders workshop. Once you have yes. it, easy peasy. Well, listen, Vanessa and Annette, thank you so much for speaking thank to me today. And the thank best luck and us. enjoy Dublin. Oh, thank we you. Will. We're excited. Yeah. Thanks You're for so having welcome. us. Thank you so, so much. Welcome. And thank you to the Hampton Hotel for being. Absolutely. They Beautiful. have been so gracious. And it's amazing. We, we love yeah. this hotel yeah. and we love our rooms. And it's just, it's it's a perfect venue Thanks. for this event. And I recommend we couldn't be happier. Shower. The shower is clam amazing. Chowder. Oh, the clam chowder. Oh yes, we had it last night. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Hampton yeah. Hotel is definitely going to have these two ladies back, no doubt about it. So. so thank you so much for watching today and have a great weekend. Thank you.